Hey, it's Dave, and today we're going to make some toms. I've been working on this song for the last few days, and I really wanted some toms, but I couldn't find a sample or really anything that I had in my library that I really liked, so I thought I would try making it from scratch, which I like to do quite a bit because I am a sound designer. So I did a few, but I wanted to kind of like take you through my process. This is the kind of thing that I do on Twitch. So if you want to check me out there and you can come in, I take requests or answer any questions that you have in the chat. It's twitch.tv slash noise proxy. Let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you kind of like how I make this happen. So uh, first off, I'm just going to show you like a few of the ones that I already did. So this one is in Serum. And it's, this one's like completely dry. Anyways, here's uh, one that I did in Ableton. Sounds completely different. All right, and then here's another one. My process is honestly the same throughout but those little minor tweaks can change a lot of, you know, what happens in the end. So let's start out by uh, just opening up Operator. This is going to be the one that I choose to use today. We're just going to start out with a sine wave. And then manipulate the... Uh, the envelope and do some other things. So let's start out by uh, taking the sustain all the way down and then adjusting the decay. On the first oscillator. So it's the length of what we want. And then I'm going to add some noise to that. And I'm going to click on here so I can change this envelope. Take the sustain all the way down. You can do that here as well. And then we're just going to take the decay down like really far. Until we just get a click and let's take the level up. We can make the decay a little bit longer on this first oscillator. Um, you can go down here if you click on this little section. You have all these options for how it's routed, how all the oscillators are routed. So right now, each oscillator is going through the next one before it goes out. You could do them all in parallel so that they don't affect each other at all. That gets you a different sound. And then I could make this oscillator, instead of making it a sine wave, I could make it noise. All right, we'll just do it that way for now. And then because the way drums work, the top head has to be struck and then uh, there's like vibrations and then the bottom head kind of creates more of the tone. Um, I wanted to... Uh, Increase the attack a little bit. Let's just make it like 10 milliseconds on the first oscillator. So this oscillator is going to play. That's going to be like the click. And then there's going to be like the tone. It's very subtle. You can't really. Can't really tell. Also, before I forget. I'm going to make this uh, mono so that they don't overlap each other. So that's the first step you could do. You could add more oscillators as the body to create sort of a different sound and, uh, using like FM synthesis and other things. But we're just going to do it basic with two oscillators, one that's the body and one that's the attack. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an EQ just to get rid of anything 
or boost anything that I think I, I would want or not want. So let's see here. Let's just get rid of mud. And then search around for frequencies that uh, might be offensive. Let's do saturator. So I want to add some color to this and drive. So let's use medium curve. So this base here, uh, if you look over to the left, it says this determines how much the saturator effect will be reduced or increased for very low frequencies. Uh, so I don't really want that. Okay, one thing I forgot was I wanted to use an envelope follower. So I'm going to search envelope. And this is a max for live. I'm pretty sure it's free. You just have to install it um, for anyone who has sweet or who has max for live. Um, and I'm going to use, because like right now, this just kind of sounds pretty basic. It doesn't really sound like a drum per se. So uh, there's a few things you can do. You could just use this pitch envelope down here and get that kind of like detune sound. That's fine. But there's also like, I, I'm a drummer. So I like to have my, I like to tune my bottom heads lower, like almost as low as they can go and then adjust my top head. So it's always going to be lower than my top head. And I, I like to get this like boo sound. Like it's like a, like this natural decay of the pitch. So I'm going to use envelope follower so that I can try to get that natural decay. So I'm going to map this. Just click on this little map button to the fine tuning of the first oscillator, which is the body. And just hear what it sounds like out of the box. So that's a little much. So I can just turn the gain down. I can also make it decay longer. So that's a little bit more like kind of a natural falling motion of the pitch. Okay, we can, you know, we can add other things as well. Like uh, we could add overdrive to it if you wanted some, you know, distortion on like that kind of distortion. Depending on where you put the filter, you'll get a different sound. All right, and then let's add, uh, let's add reverb. And I just want it to be super subtle and I want to kind of make it almost gated sounding.
Okay, so it's not exactly what I want just yet, but I'm going to add OTT to this, which is just a, if you don't know what OTT is, um, it's a multiband compressor, but it's uh, it's modeled after X for Records uh, OTT. I think it's actually made by the same guy. And uh, it's just it's kind of, <laughs> it's intense. It's OTT. But you can just change the amount, change the time. It's, you can use it as an equalizer of sorts. You can, I mean, a lot of times I'll duplicate it and put it other places because I want to, I want to kind of, it depends on the sound that you want to get. Let's turn off overdrive. So what I'm doing here, I took down the, the down the decay and the size um, and then messed with the dry wet to get less of a reverb, but more of like this like 80s kind of like wide tom sound. I don't know what just happened. That's without it. I add pre delay. <laughs> so you can get some like really cool sounds. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to group all this. Control G. And then you can make your own instrument out of it. So you could just, add, oh, whoa, wait, wait. You could uh, assign macros to things. You could rename it, control uh, R. And then I'll call this Dave's Big Toms uh, 3. And then just hit this little guy right here to save it. And then uh, we'll save it. So now I got a third like Ableton rack for toms. So here's one. Here's another. And then here's the one I just made. Pretty cool. And then here's the serum one. So, um, I don't know if that helped at all, but hopefully you learned something. I feel like you can learn more if you just experiment. But uh, again, if you guys want to kind of see this in real time, maybe you want to see me do other things from scratch, you can add it in the comments or you can just come into like a Twitch live stream and just say, hey, show me how to do this or ask me questions. You know, I take requests and stuff like that. So that's all for today and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.